I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 2, and let's focus on verses 1 through 4. On the third day, a wedding took place in Cana of Galilee, and Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding as well. And when the wine ran out, Jesus' mother told him, they don't have any more wine. What has this concern of yours to do with me, woman? Jesus asked. My hour has not come. The fifth commandment reads, Honor your father and mother so that you may live long in the land that the Lord has given to you. And when I was young in my faith, I remember reading today's passages uh, and wondering if Jesus sinned in his reply to his mother. Personally, if I ever called my mother woman, (laughs) she would have slapped me. But in actuality, Jesus' intent was lost in translation. You know, in the Greek language, genui means woman, but genui with an exclamation point is endearing. It's more like mother. Therefore, Jesus is not disobeying the commandment to honor his mother with either his tone or with his response. And we know that Jesus honored and cared for his mother even on the cross. Before his death, he entrusted Mary's keep to the disciple whom he especially loved, as it says in John chapter 19. Also, in the end, Mary regarded Jesus as Lord, for she was present and she was praying with the other disciples in the upper room after his resurrection, in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 14. And all that said, Jesus' response to his mother was gracious but it was also commanding. Now imagine yourself in Mary's shoes. Ever since the angel's herald had come, his name wasn't Harold, he came to herald the coming of Jesus. But ever since the angel came, uh, Mary had been told that Jesus was destined for greatness. The Old Testament prophets all spoke of him, and so you cannot hear the Bible taught and then not see your son, because he's all over the Bible. And although not always with a full understanding, Mary observed Jesus' physical and his spiritual development from infant into manhood. And lastly, Mary had been told future generations would bless her because of Jesus. But in today's passage, Jesus' comment to his mother was meant to aid her transition from seeing him as a child to seeing him as her Lord. And he kept her from undue pride and indicated that he, as Lord, sovereignly determines when he will intervene in human affairs. Jesus does not perform miracles on demand to merely impress his friends or even to please his mother. It is a good lesson for us that God is not our genie in heaven. We don't merely rub him and make a wish. We are commanded to pray, your will be done. And we must trust that he knows the exact hour and even the exact moment when the miraculous is necessary. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.